We caught that bit of a reprieve as we talked about yesterday. Hopefully you got outside and got some stuff done. I actually got some mowing done. Uh, thankfully that cloud cover hung in there, so it was still hot and muggy, just not as hot and muggy as it's been. And check this out. Sunshine. There's still some cloud cover out there, but we've got sun shining through it. And we're on the verge of a full moon. If you've been out the last couple of nights and you've seen it, uh, it is almost full. It's officially full tomorrow at 9.07 p.m. It rises right after that. And this month's nickname is the full strawberry moon, also known as the blooming moon, the honeymoon. Uh, so check that out as we head into the weekend. With clouds in and out, we should be able to get some good viewing, especially when it's low on the horizon. It's going to look really big. Stalled front north. They've got ongoing shower storms, heavy rain up there. Uh, if you hadn't heard, we had our first storm, tropical storm of the season uh, developed. Tropical storm Alberto making landfall over Mexico, the Gulf Coast, and slinging heavy rain in South Texas around Brownsville there. And here we are wedged between a bunch of active weather with hardly anything going on except for our continuing heat wave. So we'll end up partly sunny today, more than likely mostly sunny going into the weekend with this semi-stalled frontal system continuing to just work its way across the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes, ongoing rounds of showers and storms up there, multi-day severe threat for them. Summer begins today, although, you know, really, if you want to think about it, Father's Day was probably a more appropriate beginning for it because that's when this heat and this humidity cranked up and has been with us ever since. But June 20th at 451, the sun's directly over the Tropic of Cancer. And our heat dome, this big ridge of upper level high pressure, has uh, back built and will continue to do so down towards Texas. And the weakness in this ridging is going to allow a trough to dig in late in the weekend. That means maybe a few showers and storms, but definitely a slight reduction in the overall heat. Temperatures are going to spike this weekend out ahead of that and then start to drop next week. It's not a tremendous drop. It's not even a drop to around normal, but at least we back off the mid to potentially upper 90s. There are the record highs for those three days running. It's going to be difficult to reach those levels, but we're close enough that we're talking about it. And of course, with the high humidity, uh, it's going to feel like we're in the upper 90s near triple digits. Still have our heat advisory out. Uh, for New England states, it runs all the way up into Maine and uh, all the way back to Indiana, Michigan, and northern Kentucky. And if you look at the future track, our departure from normal, this has been flip-flop in the last couple of days, but there are indications out there that we just may see a little bit of a brief cool shot. I don't know if it'll be as dramatic as that going into the following weekend there, but anytime you have an extended stretch of this well above normal warmth, at some point you're likely going to snap back in the other direction. So it wouldn't be surprising, so let's put it that way. 93 today, right back into it. 93 in Versailles, Lawrenceburg, 92 as you head out towards Winchester, 91 in Moorhead. Uh, so some low 90s in our eastern mountain counties. You drop down southeast and you've got pretty much a similar situation. 93 in Hyden and 92 in Harlan. Lakes region, good day to be on a boat, especially if you can jump off of it and go for a swim. Low 90s down there as well. So. We'll see the heat spike this weekend. Some scattered showers and storms Sunday. Fairly limited coverage there. Another front drops in Wednesday, though. That one could finally be what breaks uh, this uh, heat wave and actually sends temperatures back into the 80s. And maybe it'll hang on with us into the upcoming weekend.